Hi, hello, my friends, and welcome to part 78 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Let's Play series. Now, I just would like to remind you all that the, the Dole Pass ends soon. It ends on the 29th. So, I hope you all are getting that done for some pretty good prizes. Either the regular non-gold pass or the gold Dole Pass if you feel like you can go the whole way. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the cell mode right away. There's no new notifications. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I doubt I'm going to make it to Diamond 1. Um, I'm so far away this season. It's kind of hard to, like, really be able to, like, grind up all the way. So yeah. Um, as a reminder, here's the pawn stack for this. It's Crusader Uniter, and then there's the deck description. So this is more of a special summon as message as I can to go into Link Summons. And even these are all about like just like special summoning. Oh, it works really well with the Crusadia because when anything is special summoned to his own like market points to that just special summon itself from your hand or graveyard. Which, I mean, is what the Crusadio is all about. So that's actually a really good addition. And then th Clash is pretty good because it lowers the attack um, of, a, of a monster. By banishing one of your other monsters. You can just banish one of your monsters that you don't care as much about. Um, to lower the attack a little bit. And, it, like, the monster is, like, brought back afterwards, too, so... Um, after a little while, so like it's not like it's gone forever. And for this duel, I win two legacy pack tickets, which is pretty nice. Anyway, I think the opponent's name is always is is almost always the same as the deck, but I'll still keep putting it um as like the description if I want to call out the opponent's deck and name. Okay, so I might as well go for the negate first. Um, because if I can set up a negate as soon as possible, that's pretty good. See, I, I'm going to show you that you can send the, yeah, you can set the dropsies with the Swath Fog effect because I didn't realize they were also Aqua. Um, but I'm just going to do Dew Fog. Because Ron and Tone has to banish a fog in order to spell some himself from the graveyard. Yeah, it doesn't always work out where I get totally awesome right away, but when I do, it's pretty good. Oh, and since I'm going second, I might even be able to OTK. OTK this person. Um, this Crusadia Uniter AI. So yeah, I might as well do the place. Um, I guess I'll grab the dropsies, because why not? And I'll start with um, Lampsies, and then I'll use that to go into <coughs> <coughs> Meow Meow Moo. I think I might be able to go OTK if I do this right. Maybe. I'll ha definitely see if I can. That, like, 500 life point damage can actually be a big difference between whether you do OTK or not, so... Yeah, it may not seem like a lot of damage, but like, yeah, like that can make a world of difference. Okay, I don't know if I can OTK, but I'm going to try. So I'll do the fancies first, because I'd rather have the doodle doodle do negated than the fancies. Okay, so I'll go ahead and send the place to the graveyard. Um, dropsy. So now I could do... I don't think I will do pandemonium, actually. I'll just go ahead and go into do 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 Or however you say it. <coughs> I think I can... I think I can OTK here. So I'll go ahead and activate the dropsies. And as my last summon, I'll do Roxy's. Well, the last Prince Kid's main deck summon, anyway. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of the max C because I'm pretty sure I'm OTKing this turn anyway. So I don't really need it. And this way, no. And this way, maybe I can get another. Okay, I got another Swath Frog, but I don't know if that even really matters. I think Swath Frog is only once per turn anyway. Almost positive. Okay, so now... Oh, so you can apparently special summon it more than once. Well, that's good to know. So if I go for Prank Kids Pranks, I could ditch the Pandemonium and I would still have that special summon for Swath Frog. Would that be game, though? I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, so I don't even care about ditching the pandemonium. I'm just gonna ditch the pandemonium. Because I still want that special summon for Swap Frog. Okay, so now I can go for the Link Spider first. Okay, I believe this is, uh, you can, so I don't have to. So that's nice to know. So I'll go ahead and use that as two materials. Use the Link Spot as one. So now I won't. I won't do it. I'm not going to activate it. Because I can only just destroy it with the access code. So I'll go ahead and do that. Use the... Totally awesome, and that. I'm not sh I think this may actually be game here. Maybe if I get like an extra thousand? I honestly have no idea. But I think this might be game. Let's see, I'll just banish the Link Spatter. Cool, so I destroyed that. I don't know if this is game or not, but I'm going to at least try it. Let's see. I think it is game. With the Swap Frog add-in, I think th I'm I'm almost positive that it has to be game. Actually, do I already have Bone and Toad in my grave? No, I don't. I guess I'll send the, bo the other Bone in. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one. Oh, I think it. I th I think that would work. Yeah, I think that does work. Look at this. Look at what I can do here. This is pretty good. I'm gonna show you. I think this it th this will work. Yeah. So and then I can do this. And I can still activate the Tully. To bring the totally awesome back to my extra deck. And now I can just special summon out the two Ronins. One banish the swap. And then the other I'll banish the swap. I really didn't need to do all this. But like I'm showing you like this is kind of a cool thing. See and then see. It's, it's like I never lost the totally awesome in the first place. And now I can still bring out the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. That's pretty cool. Look. And then I can still bring out the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Unfortunately, I can't do the draw 2 right away. Because it, cause I need to wait until a turn th the turn that wasn't sent to be run. See, and now I can still do the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Wow. And I ended it on so much damage. Sure, I don't have like an aqua other than the totally awesome to negate something with, but that's okay. So yeah. So that's a pretty cool combo you can do. Instead of like just um ending on the access code plus a totally awesome, I was able to end on the access code, the Predator Plant Vernon Anaconda, and the um Destroy things and force it without any, even needing an extra totally awesome, which I wouldn't be able to play anyway since totally awesome is at one anyway. I was able to land on all of that. I think I'm gonna play another one, and then if I don't, and then if I have to edit, I will. I just want to like finish this up. 
So yeah, so um here's the opponent stack real quick. It's basically just a um star dress, I guess. A Crusadia with like a star dress or stuff. Yeah, it looks like with some rise bell stuff. So here's if you want to be reminded of the effects, but I need to get into this. Oh, and apparently there's a few emergency teleports in here too. Oh yeah, because the rise bell stuff are psychic. Shape sister also like a pretty good one because like that's another trap monster they can basically just summon whenever you want. So you could like force it to like go to be summoned to a zone of link monster points to, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and then there's the deck description. So for this, I win 200 gems. So I'm going to try to go quick, but if I don't finish it, I believe this might be difficulty 5. I'll, I'll, um, hmm. I think the last one is difficulty 4 and then th this is difficulty 5. But that shouldn't make a difference because I'm playing my overpowered frogs anyway. So I think I might it might might be able to just get game here again. Unless like the spell and trap. But I think even if the spells and traps, I think I can just get rid of everything by just going into um totally awesome again. So what I'll do first oh I Oh you know what? That's okay though. It's okay that I had the Dew Frog in my hand instead of the Ronin. What's important is that I have like one the frog engine. Because now I can just send the missing part to the graveyard. So here I'll just send, I'll send this one since it's foil. And then I can just, um, activate the Ronin. To special summon the dupe. I mean the Ronin, um, special summon the Ronin from my graveyard using its own effect. And I'll go into Totally Awesome and there's my negate. Um, yeah, I'll just do it right there. And then I might as well do the... I'll do the terraforming first. Because I don't think my opponent has a Ash Blossom. But this is how you would like... Maybe bait out the Ash Blossom. Before activating place. Because they won't know if you have another place in your hand or not. But that's like a little thing you can do to like try to bait our hand to traps. If you can figure out ways to try to break bait our hand traps, you pretty much should. Cause like, if they hand trap you, that can be at the right time. Like that can be pretty detrimental. But as long as you're smart, you might be able to get past it. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than like them hand trapping you at the right time. You pretty much have to end the, your turn. And then it's their turn and they build a basically unbreakable board. Because like giving them, even giving them one turn can be really bad nowadays. Especially like if you don't really have much to like stop them yourself. Okay, so now I'll do the fansies, and I'll also do the dodo doodle do. I don't know if I can get game here or not. I probably will have to add it, but I really want to get finished with two. Then, like, I can be done with this one, which will be nice. So I'll go ahead and add the pranks in my hand, and send the pandemonium to the grave. Is special summon, um... The lamps. Oh, wait, no, not the lampsies, the dropsies, because I already did lampsies. Oh, boy, that would have been bad. So now I can do 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 do. Actually, it might be. Probably is better to. So now I can do the um, dropsies. Special summon a monster to field, yes. I'll go ahead and special summon the Roxies. Technically, I don't really need um, the place anymore. So I can probably just discard the place. So I'll just go ahead and go for Bowel Bark. I think I'm going to banish place. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna just banish plays. Or maybe I should do the maxi. Now do the place. Yeah, I'll just do place. Okay, that's pretty good. But unfortunately, I can't even spell summon him. Oh yeah, it's only good if I had a adventure token on the field. So it's actually not that great. Um. Okay, so I think I can go for... Hmm, what can I go for? Okay, so now what I can do is I can go for pranks. I might be able to, if I play this smart, go for the access code. But I can't do the, I can't actually use the Totally Awesome. The only reason the Totally Awesome worked last time was because I was able to get another Swath Fog. I only, so like, if even if I use the Totally Awesome, I would only be able to like special summon um, one Ron Ronin. And that's not enough for Totally Awesome. So, hold on. So, I can do... I can go for the Link Spider play into the Nightmare Unicorn, but... Unfortunately, that's not enough. And I probably will have to um, edit out a little bit, but that's not a problem. That's not a problem. So, I'll go for the Nightmare Unicorn first, I think? Yeah. Because then that gives my... Um, Axis code a little bit higher attack. So yes, I'll use that as two materials. But I won't activate the Nightmare Unicorn because I can just do um, Axis code instead, which doesn't require materials from the hand. So I'll go for the man. This is unfortunate. I don't think this is game, but we'll see if this is game or not. I don't actually know if this is game or not. I don't think so. I'm curious though. Is this is this game after I get rid of everything? Okay, so I can get rid of the I'll just banish the link spatter. I'll destroy this one. And then I'll get rid of the um I guess the nightmare unicorn. Destroy that one. And then I can get rid of um the I guess the dodo doo doo do to destroy that. I don't know if this is game or not. I can't actually summon anything else. Uh looks like it's not. How close was that though? Oh wait, no, it's exactly game. Okay, that is good to know. So, Axis Code and Totally Awesome is exactly game as long as you inflict that 500 damage first. See, that's see it's 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 times like that where 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 you're really happy that the Lampsies does that 500 damage. So, yeah, that's good to know. Anyway, that was the last goal and I even completed the goal. So, that means in tomorrow's video I can move on to next gate and I'll reveal what the next gate I'm going to be moving on is. I'll reveal that tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. Okay. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, share, and subscribe and consider ringing that notification bell for regular content like the, the another Let's Play tomorrow. That should be pretty exciting. Um, and I'll and I thank you all who did um, watch um, either the whole thing or part of the video today. I hope I hope um, I'm happy for for those of you safe for that. Um, and feel free to let me know in the comments like what you um, your thoughts on the video too. Okay, bye. <laughs>